What's happening, lovelies? Um, I watched a documentary the other night on BBC. Uh, it was by Jesse Nelson from Little Mix, and it is called The Odd One Out. Uh, it is about her experience with bullying and online bullying and trolling and everything that it has made her go through and all that she suffered and how she's coming out of the other side now. Um, if you haven't seen it, I'd really recommend giving it a watch because it's poignant and it is completely relevant in today's society because obviously you can't get away from social media these days and you can't get away from the internet and it just shows you how dangerous it can be as well as how powerful it can be um, both positively and negatively and her sharing her story uh, is, is really brave and it is really moving and it is really worth the watch so uh, with all that said I, I know she's never going to see this but Jesse Nelson thank you for making that documentary um, at 34 years old you've given me a reason to get over what's happened to me so thank you um, and on that note I'm going to share with you a little bit of my experience of bullying um, so I was a subject of school bullying and at the time I went to school we didn't have the internet as easily and readily available it was dial up connection and really slow internet and it was just the occasional MSN messenger chat with one of your mates from school and you had to talk to people one at a time and all of that. There was none of this hundreds and thousands of people from far and wide being able to see everything you're doing. Um, but it affected me as a teenager, as it does. Um, and I took that anxiety through into my early 20s and university and things like that. And and it's painful and it stays with you. It's, it's not something that you ever forget. Um, going on from there, as an adult, I have been the subject of workplace bullying. And it was that, that scenario that actually triggered my panic attack that then sent me into a downward spiral into my first... Um, experience with CFS so it took a long time to actually get diagnosed with that uh, and it was thanks to this panic attack that that actually started and actually I deteriorated from there so that was kind of the start of my whole downward health journey if you like and it were and it came from a workplace bully um, now I've sort of come through it and out the other side and I really do believe that I have uh, I've had different diagnosis happening this time and I've sort of figured out exactly what is going on with my body and how to control that and how to look after myself. Um, I, I spent years blaming all of that on, on this person but really when I think about it what I've learned th through that experience is, is how to be me. S I'm stronger in my mind, I'm stronger in my body, uh, I've done lots of different things that I would never have tried before, sort of brain training um, and meditation and yoga and different types of exercise that I never would have picked up before, I've put myself to different kinds of tests that I probably wouldn't have done before and I really feel like I've come out stronger on top. The other thing that I think is a lot stronger about me now is actually my personality because I know what it feels like to have that taken away and it it's taken away by a bully when I was at school. It completely changed me and it, it changed who I even felt like I could make friends with and what surprises me now is the people that actually keep in touch with me now as a grown up are the people that I was afraid to make friends with in the first place but it, it turns out that that those are the girls and boys that have actually stuck around to be interested in what happens to me as an adult. Um, so it's interesting how it affects you at the time and how you can reflect on it sort of years later. And having watched this documentary, it, it really gave me that time to reflect on my experience and in a way turn it around so that I've become thankful for how it's helped me to be the woman that I am today. 
Um, and I actually, I, I started writing, so I was going to write a blog post a, about it. And it and it's kind of come out in poetry, so I'm, I'm going to share it with you now. Uh, it's called Thank You to the Bully. Thank you to the bully for how you made me feel about my face, for your opinions of my hair and of my smile when it was braced. Now every time I hear the words, you're beautiful, said to me, I appreciate their meaning more than would have ever been. Thank you, bully, for the times that I cried myself to sleep, for the anxious tummy knots and the shame that felt so deep. You made me square up to the demons of depression and anxiety. Now I rise up through the fog, feeling powerful and mighty. Thank you for being the catalyst that sent my body into shock, triggering disease and pain on levels that are beyond even childbirth, I kid you not. For now I know I'm stronger than I ever thought I'd be. I fought the pain and won, and that makes me so proud to be me. Thank you, bully, for testing my friends with your manipulative ways. You filtered out the shit so that I didn't waste my days. The ones who came through with me, we now have unbreakable ties, a bond of marriage that beats them all, and I'm brave and strong in his eyes. Thank you for giving him the choice to step up in the hard times or leave, because now I know that we're meant to be, and in love I truly believe. Thank you, Bully, for the words that you said that cut so very deep. Words that you never thought of again, but are ingrained in me to keep. The lessons I learned from these words taught me who I am and why. Our differences are our strengths and in individuality makes us fly. You taught me exactly how I want to bring up my precious girls. To be humble, kind and caring is what's important in this world. You taught me the importance of sorry and to own up for the things I've said. To reassure and comfort others with doubts inside their head. You taught me that I must never back down from a fight and to make things right with those I love before we say goodnight. I hope you're happy now, bully. I understand it's not your fault. Your insecurities run deeper than mine from the events your life has brought. Thank you to the bully who had me hiding in the dark, for when I stepped into the light, it was so much brighter in my heart. <laughs>